Buried under the streets of New York's eighth largest city, a century old sewer system. Residents and city officials say this system is on the verge of collapse, and homeowners are struggling with a very unpleasant consequence. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. One end of Brookside Avenue, Mount Vernon, blocked. So a vacuum truck can unblock a sewer line, allowing Linda McNeil to use the toilet in her home after she wet vacs the waste backup. You can imagine her frustration. Mentally and emotionally, I can't take it much more. There's no way that as Americans, human beings, that we should have to pump out our own waste but a wet vac. The DPW guys are out here so often, the family knows them by name. And Bobby and the workers have been wonderful. The problem is a collapsing 75-year-old sewer line buried under the street in front of the McNeil family home. The issue here on Brookside, just one of many sewer infrastructure problems plaguing the city of Mount Vernon. A mile north, this pump borrowed from Westchester County has closed the street for weeks in order to keep the century-old sewer line functioning. Mount Vernon needs tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars to upgrade ancient infrastructure, money it doesn't have. Median household income here is 38% below the Westchester County average. Political infighting at City Hall and a pending investigation into how the comptroller handles finances compound the problem. It is beyond our city's capacity to fix this issue. We need federal and state intervention here to help us. The new DPW commissioner says he's chasing every grant program out there looking for funds to fix the problem. I've just been reaching out to everyone at this point. You know, the can has been kicked down the road for so long that it's time to actually get the job done. The good news is a water quality grant to replace the lines on Brookside soon will be in hand. A small step towards solving the much larger issue. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.